Well, if you had the chance, would you ever live in Buffalo's old grain elevators? If the answer is yes, you might soon have that chance, sort of. Here's two on your sides, Leanne Stuck. These pieces of Buffalo history have sat vacant for years, but not for much longer. We're looking at doing a mixed use development that has residential, uh, commercial, community uses, artistic uh, enhancements and uses as well. Silo City owner Rick Smith is partnering with Florida based developers Generation Development Group to turn a portion of these old silos and warehouses into a destination. The developers went before the Buffalo Zoning Board to ask to change the zoning of the land to allow residential and retail space. The request was tabled. I think we're going to uh, resubmit our, rezone our, our PUD application here in the next couple of weeks. And then what you'll see is we'll really start engaging with a lot of the uh, creative community that's there on site. The developers say it's important to them to make sure that they're preserving the historic integrity of the property, which is why they say they won't be tearing down any buildings or putting apartments in the silos. The intention and plan is not to fill the silos or grain elevators with apartment homes. The plan is to utilize the supplemental buildings, whether they're milling buildings, warehouses, et cetera, and utilize those for redevelopment to bring residential units to life and utilize the silos themselves for supplemental art installations, potential commercial activation, potential um, you know, creative green spaces. The project will be completed in phases. The first phase is expected to cost $40 million. The entire project could cost around $100 million and take 8 to 10 years to complete. The developers say there is a need for creative housing in Buffalo, and they're hoping to attract a unique art scene. And what really excited us about this deal with Rick Smith is that you don't have deals with all of these elements put together in a place that has need and the infrastructure that Buffalo provides to do development of this nature. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News.